Hi, Nick Collier here, and this is my shop. Come join me. We'll have some fun. Knowing that this lathe is old and worn out, we're going to check our uh, our taper here and see what we've got. So we're at one fourteen. Gosh, that's pretty good. Man, we're on the money. All the way across. Well, that's uh, quite interesting. So we're 15 thousandths or 14 thousandths above where we want to be. And let's take it down another 10. fairly smooth what are we down to now we got about three and a half thousandths to go Let's take that three and a half. So that would be one and three quarters. Okay, we got it set at one and seven fifty. So let's just see what we come up with. And that's sitting a thou under. So let's go ahead and bring it back a bit. I mean, all of this is going to be threaded, so who cares? But we are getting close to the end of that part. Geez, and now we're two thousandths over. <laughs> okay. 
That should bring us right to zero. Looking good. Yep. Let's get a cutter and see what that's gonna play like. We've got some some jumps right there. We're gonna just take a file to it. Okay, so uh, this last little bit, we're going to cut at 14 threads per inch at one inch uh, uh, for a one inch nut. And we found one in our stash. We'll probably cut off the castle part. No use in having that. So um, here we go. <laughs> All right, that looks pretty good. And we've got a nice, uh, I quit just in time. <laughs> it's a little loose out here, but by the time we get it, uh, the thread fully engaged, it snugs up. See, it's a bit loose, but then you get the, get, get the nut fully engaged. And it, it, well, it's still a bit loose, but hey, it is what it is, right? It will still hold very well. Okay. So that part's done. Now, uh, let's take it off and see what it's going to look like in the, in the space itself. Okay, there's our piece. Let's uh, take it over and give it a try. All right, so we've got it all wiped down. This goes in there. And the nut goes on the end of it. And it looks like the cat wants some attention. <laughs> okay, cat. Yeah, you want attention. Ah, oh, boy. Okay. So then we 
bring this in place. make sure we're snug down here pretty tight yeah snugging down nicely okay and that looks pretty good so now we bring our degree wheel around around to zero there it is lock it in good and solid so if we want to back it up and put our bit or our cutter on there it is okay that goes to there <coughs> our nut goes on or not and we'll come in later and take off the castle and what we need is some spacers so that's the next in this little journey and uh, we will be back okay well this little dually bop is getting real close um, what we have to do now is um, make ourselves a sleeve here to uh, be able to hold the cutter in place and at the same time um, well, not at the same time, but after that, we'll come in and put ourselves a keyway in here so that the cutter can has a place to stop and a keyway on the on the uh, sleeve that we're going to build. So so far, we're just uh, we're going to do a sleeve about that big. And what is that big? What are we looking at here? Um, something in the neighborhood of Oops. I think we should do it as close to the end of the thread as possible so we're going to do two inches and that way for the thicker uh, cutters we can adjust this out all the way out to there so two inch two inch sleeve not too bad let's go over to the saw okay we got some of that ori original uh, 1045 material let's cut
Okay, we got our hole drilled up to, uh, what was that, uh, almost a one inch. can't remember the exact size because it didn't matter. Uh, now we're going to take and run a boring bar down there until we get to a couple of thousandths over one inch. So we got a nice slide fit. I'm thinking this boring bar will work just fine. Of course, we got to extend it out a bit. Shouldn't be a problem. Let's go a little further. Oops, that didn't work. All right, that should give us what we want. Of course, it's just a little bit low. <laughs> Still sitting a bit low. That's probably pretty good. Let's see what that looks like. Um, let's get it squared up. Okay, let's take a rough measurement, see what we got. We're sitting at 980. That's enough to where I think I should get a more accurate measurement. <clears throat> And we are at nine seventy four. So if we took twenty five more, we'd be pretty close. All right, let's see what we got.
you we are um, six and a half thousand short. So let's take eight thousandths. Give that a try. And we are about a thou and a half over. So, uh, let's uh, go get the shaft and give it a try. I'll be back. Okay, let's see how it's gonna go here. Snug, but works. It works. I'm seeing that this this side here isn't exactly square. Huh. Okay. All right. Well, uh, that's good for that. Now let's. Uh, we're gonna take that edge off first thing. Alright, that's that for that. Let's go back over uh, and, uh, well, we're going to take that shaft. Oh, yeah, let me uh, square up this inside edge. That's not a good thing.
Yeah, I think that's going to work. I was a little worried because uh, it's right up against the edge there, but looks fine. All right, so uh, let's take this. Actually, we're going to leave this sit here just in case it needs to go a little bit bigger. And uh, we'll take this over and we'll leave this where it's at. And we're going to go cut a slot in the shaft.